first of all, you definitely got to figure out what you love, love doing, mm -hmm. in order to go be so obsessed with it that you, you it doesn't matter what it takes to um, build your following or build the, you know, build the business you want. Mm. So, um, the, the part of it is that you, you just literally have to lock yourself in, the, in your room mm -hmm. and spend those times of planning and doing things that mm. um, you, you really care about. You know, it's, it's a lot of lonely time sitting in, you know, yeah. whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody gets your idea, only you get it. Right. Yeah, yeah. You get it. Uh -huh. And so if anybody want, you know, wants to start a YouTube channel or um, you know, be, have Instagram followers or yeah. any of those things, you literally have to be transparent. That's, that's, I always speak about that, is that you have to be transparent in what you do. So you, you have to be real and transparent where everybody sees you. Mm -hmm. You're not being a fake. You're not being right. someone that you're not. Right. Because mm -hmm. if you fail, if you fail on YouTube or social media, it's okay. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. That's the realness of this. It, you know, when you're trying to build a following. Mm -hmm. you know? Huh. I think you kind of hit on it too, as being transparent. You, people need to know what you're about. So, like, when I look at Ethan, everybody here kind of knows him as like the film guy of movies and stuff. And I think, and we kind of talked about it earlier, being afraid of what other people think. So a lot of people are afraid, like. Okay, people are going to think this is dumb if I like this or I want to pursue this. So I'm sure even starting a business, and you kind of mentioned your wife where she's like, okay, this, are you going to document her whole life? Like maybe she was a little skeptical. So how would you or how did you kind of go about blocking out what people would think you don't really care? Because I feel like everyone kind of at one point has to take that step. You know what? I don't care what people think or say about me. I enjoy this. I'm going to go after this. So how did you kind of approach that? And did you ever kind of have an instance where there was people who kind of doubted you or made fun of what you wanted to do or what you did and how did you kind of move past that to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, the, the first person that got the real uh, real shot of me vlogging and recording was my family. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, that's mm -hmm. the first person that um, will feel uncomfortable. Oh yeah. It's your family because they're the one in the camera. How I, how I think I passed that was I knew that in my heart, man. I knew what I was doing. It, you have, you have to believe that you know what you're doing. Yeah. And there were thoughts, I think, you know, along the line as I was trying to grow this YouTube of, is this, is this what I want to do, man? And I was still questioning those things too. And yeah, there were people that doubt me, and you know, like, why, why is he doing this? Yeah. It's not making sense. Mm. But then here, 18, almost 19,000 subs later. Yeah, you proved them all wrong. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's not about proving people wrong, but it's just that this is why I'm doing it. It's, it's given me opportunities that I would never get mm. if I would have never done this.